Damn, what a gem. 1990 240SX. Only for 1800. Doesn't run, but we can make some videos of stripping the interior, stripping the whatever it has in there, making it turbo. I have big plans for this. Really big plans. And I like it. Well, I had trouble putting it on the trailer, but that's okay, because it's a fucking gem. some problems opening this motherfucking door. Well, fuck. Right. So this is what I've done to the car so far. It was full interior. Now I need to go strip that part right there. And I've taken out the headliner off and everything. The only problem with this car is that it won't start. And that being is because of the distributor pigtail being bad. I'm gonna get that fixed soon. Gotta make sure we're neutral. distributor was bad but little to find out that those were unplugged all of them um we checked the coil pack and that's good we took the all these out and they're good and they're all plugged in it is a K4 To do what the hell? Where's this leak coming from? Um, I don't know. Well, bucket. Let's Alright, let's get you taking this these panels off. And let's start a time lapse. I don't wanna oh shit. Maybe you guys don't want to see me in just the ball, so I'm going to open up the hatch with the breaker bar. Open up the hatch. No more crumble me. Let's do this.
This is a very good tool. I went to AutoZone to go pick this up. It's a drill last. It's a good prying tool. Look at this. Put it right there. There you go. Even though it's just a flathead screwdriver. Comes in handy sometimes. Man, what the fuck? See? Perfect. Now, throw that away. I can take this hmm. <clears throat> I need my handy dandy uh, prank tool because uh, we got a light of some sort back here with no light bulb huh any screws in there no I don't think so let's throw that away because race car some of those pliers just grab it and then... maybe not that easily what the hell? oh well I just broke that Well, what we need is to, fuck, we need to take off this whole back thing, this whole back part to take that off. It is starting to rain, so I'm going to have to wrap this up because I don't want any water getting in there. And starting to rust even more than it is. It has barely any rust spots, so I don't want to keep it that way. <sighs> it's on coilovers. Pretty, pretty cool. That's my toolbox. Hopefully, soon I'll get it running so I can go do some mad skids.